Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you might be in this great world of ours. TGIF, thank God it's Friday. Here is a update, sorry I'm a little late, for Bitcoin, looking at what the overnight price action and the early morning price action might have brought us. So here I have my 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 labeled, but immediately first let's go to the Fibonacci's. So if I'm looking at the Fibonacci correctly, let's see as to where we were. Okay, so prices went almost to the 59.84, 1.5. It cut through the 1.236, 1.382, and it's now back down in the realm of between 1.236 and 1.382. Let's drill down into the one hour. Okay, so what is this telling us? Let me, I think I had it pre-labeled already here. There you go. Oh, I already broke out. I had been looking for A, B, C, D. It didn't even do an E. <laughs> I was thinking for one more dip, but it barely dipped. Okay. Maybe like that. Did a bullish wick. So A, B, C, D, E, and it broke out. So I think this, ha I had labeled this prior before I was discussing this pattern with somebody else. This will move up and exceed the prior high of 15820 with Bitfinex prices and if we look go back to the four hour chart and then reassess the redraw the Fibonacci The next, it, it will either hit the 1.5 and bounce off, or it will go to the 1.618, and I think it's going to go to 1.618, the golden ratio realm, like this. That's what I think will happen. And again broke out of a triangle, it's continuing to rise right now. It'll, in my opinion, it'll go to maybe 61, 6200. And tying this in together will be something like this. Here we is sitting on, it's just touched that resistance line right here. Bounce off of it. We still have a higher high in the price, but in the MSCD we have a lower low, okay? And we have a lower low in the, in the MSCD, but a higher high in the price. This usually, this means a negative divergence. I think if right here is a 1.6, If here is 1.61 equivalent right here, so let's say 61.82, and prices jump out, and this is where it to me will be critical. If prices jump out and come right back in, 
just like what I wrote here, bullish wick, that will be a bearish wick. Let's see. Let's see what happens. And if that happens within a negative divergence of MACD and price, that would be pretty interesting. Now, many of the Elioticians have given up calling for anything even related, remotely related to bearish or correction. The way I see it is, we have an A, and if it does, still does a bearish wick, it comes right back in. There is a potential for a correction now. If I draw another trend line right here, if there is a correction, it could sit here and then continue bouncing up and down and continue going up here. And I th I'm giving that more credence right now. I'm giving that more credence where there could be a, a, a correction, but it won't go all the way down to here, but rather s form a new channel or price action. The reason why I'm just giving that is because when I look at, here's the long term of Litecoin. Okay, I'm targeting 174 or higher. And if Litecoin broke out also, and it also is sitting within the bottom of the line of the broadening pattern and it continues upwards, it won't be able to do this if Bitcoin takes a dump. There's no way that's going to happen. Same thing with worth F that I had put out. There you go. Here is a tr bullish triangle that I put out for F, A, B, C, D, targeting 392, then a small correction to 304 in the target of 695. This ain't going to happen. This will not happen like this. If BTC takes a crushing dump to 2828, so even if there is a bullish wick and then there's a uh, correction, a new trend might form and this new trend might enable the F pathway, might enable the Litecoin pathway. Here's the ascending right triangle that I gave on Litecoin in 7976, maybe now it's $86, $88 um, target. But on the longer term, Litecoin, for this to rise like this and hit a triple digit target, Bitcoin has to pass somehow maybe set up a new trend. So that's what I'm thinking and that's my morning update for Bitcoin. I hope this has been informative and helpful. Let's see if that 1.618 is reached during today. Having said that, I will be putting up some additional updates for other coins as well, like Steam and Zencash. Okay, have a good day.